Hey, man, what's going on? Listen, uh, if you're dealing with a house, a potential seller, and it's a house with a basement, a couple of things you need to keep in mind. This is this is hopefully some information that can really help you uh, in making good business decisions, okay, and being able to help the seller. So bottom line, when you're dealing with a, a, in a house with a basement, um, the biggest issue is is – is you need to understand your your the square footage for the house. Let's say the house uh, footprint is small, maybe a thousand square foot print, footprint, maybe you know, or maybe even seven hundred square feet. That's a small house, right? But if you have a full basement, now all of a sudden you have a fourteen hundred square foot house or a two thousand square foot house, right? But the footprint's small. Do you, you follow me? Okay, above ground thousand square feet, below ground thousand square feet. Well, the square fo footage you you, you need to understand especially when you're starting out uh, in, in this business and you don't know the market very well, when you're comping properties like that, this, that's not going to be, it's supposed to be a thousand, 2,000 square foot uh, house with the basement, <clears throat> full basement, say, and a 2,000 uh, square foot house, just, uh, you know, kind of rambling, uh, you know, ranch style, right? One story, or maybe two story, even, above ground. The, the comps aren't going to be the same. They just aren't. The, the the value for the basement isn't as much, okay? Uh, you know, it costs a lot more to build a basement. So just know that, first thing. The second issue is this. If you, you, you know, the holy grail for, for you to get, for your buyer, rather, is to be able to get these houses financed, okay, through FHA. And FHA is really strict on this um, uh, regarding bedrooms, okay? So, you know, really what you're looking for you know the 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 cookie cutter, the, the, what everyone else is looking for. You don't want a three two three bedroom two bath, or maybe a four bedroom two bath. Okay, two baths are really important, um, especially in this day and age. I mean, back in the day, you know, we had that one girl with one bathroom kind of thing, but that's not the way it is now. Two bathrooms are really important. Okay, and bedrooms, bedrooms are big. Okay, you need and you want to at least have three bedrooms. Okay, so if you're if you have a house that's uh, um, you know on in the basement and you've got maybe a, a master bedroom upstairs and another bedroom and then there's like two or three bedrooms downstairs, if there is no egress window in there, okay, d down in the basement, it, it, FHA is not going to allow those to be considered base uh, bedrooms, okay, because they, there's no way to get in ingress egress in case, case of a fire. You no, know, you know what I mean by that? They essentially you've seen these, you know. House of the basement that was the big window wells all cut out, and you can actually open the window, and climb on out if you want. Okay. Um, and if there's not the older houses, don't have this, it just wasn't a thing back then. Okay. 50, 60 years ago, 100 years ago. Okay. So if you're going to get this house, or your buyer's going to get this house, you're going to have to do an egress window issue if you're going to add this to the bedroom. And you're going to want to do this because a three bedroom, two bath sells for a lot more than a two bedroom two bath right even though there's all these you know bedrooms in the basement fha doesn't care and so the appraiser isn't going to allow you he's going to say no this is a two-bedroom house so when you put it on mls or you know whatever or you know your the, the lender looks at it and they go well, the comps here is only this is a two-bedroom house even though it, it's more does that make sense okay bottom line you're gonna have to put the egress window four grand five grand kind of thing. so know how that works so just know about that um if, you know, if you're looking into a basis. So I hope this helps. If you want some clarification on, on uh, how base, you know, all this stuff works with, with basements or uh, FHA financing, things like that, maybe just overlooking the deal kind of thing, let me know below and we'll uh, get on a Zoom call. Maybe we just enjoy adventures together. Godspeed. We'll see you in the next video.